tutorial on how to create your identity portrait. First off, you should have your photos uploaded into Lightroom. We're going to go ahead and choose our photo. I got this one on myself here, and we'll go to our develop mode up top here. What we need to do is crop this into a square format, so we're going to click on the crop tool, and we're going to go over here and choose one-to-one. -one. All right. Uh, you can see that gives us a, a square crop. We want to get in pretty tight though to our face, so I'm going to go in just a little bit more, leave a little bit of breathing room around that, but for the most part uh, we want to get pretty tight. So once we're done, we're going to click close. I'm going to right click, go to export, and export again. From there, I want to choose a specific folder. I'm going to choose and go to OneDrive and photo 2023 and quarter one and choose that and then from there I'm going to name a new folder I want it to go into uh, we'll just call this identity and then from there we're going to scroll down we want to make sure that we have JPEG chosen at 100 quality keep going down from there sharpen screen standard and everything else should be good. So um, that's all we need. And we'll click export. And now that that's exported, we will close all of this. And I'm going to go actually to Canvas. Oops. And sorry, guys, having technical difficulties. Uh, and we're going to click on our identity portrait template. All right, this is going to open directly for me. For you guys, when you open it, you're not going to see all this stuff, but you'll see three dots up at the top. I want you to click on that and click Duplicate File. That's going to reopen the file in your Adobe Express. If it asks you to log in, go ahead and do so. Make sure you choose Email at the bottom. Do not choose Google. Choose Email and learn it, uh, log in with your current high account. But now that we're in here a few things. First off, to delete our folder or our photo, we're going to click on the photo. Over here you can also click on it and we're going to press delete on our keyboard. That's going to delete it. Everything's going to look white here because everything is white. We need to get our photo in there. So to get our photo, we're going to go over here to media and we're going to go upload from device and go to wherever we save this. So for me it was OneDrive photo 2023 quarter one identity and there's my photo okay it's a little bit small I'm gonna need to drag it and make it a little bit bigger yours should probably be okay um, depends on what your camera was set up at but again we want to want to go pretty big and our face is gonna fill up almost this entire thing notice this on top I don't see anything else that's because on my layers to the right here it is on top so I need to drag this all the way down to the bottom. And now we have our identity portrait. We're going to adjust this. We want this to be centered. So it, uh, this white edge here should be going right down the center of your nose. Uh, and then now we can work on our words. So double click on those and we can change those words. If you happen to have, and I'm going to just get rid of photographer here and entrepreneur. I'm just going to make these shorter. If you notice, we end up with this gap here where we can see the photo behind it. So if your words are shorter, that's going to be a bit of a problem, but easily fixed. Uh, if you click on this far left column, so not on your text one, but on this left little column here, go up here, click on the icon plus. That's going to add another um, one of these. Not quite large enough, so let's just click on one more and then you can adjust that so that everything gets covered up. So easy fix to get around that. Uh, go ahead and make sure that all of your words are spelled correctly. So right now uh, mine are not spelled correctly. And make sure that this side is all lined up. Sometimes students will have things move or whatever and that just doesn't look very good. So pay attention to detail and make sure that it is lined up and everything looks nice and clean. Once you're done, you're going to download it. Uh, and you're going to click download up here in the upper right hand corner, change file format to JPEG, and then click on download. And then
that will download, I believe, to your downloads folder. Let's just go ahead and check and see. If I go to downloads up here, there's my identity portrait. I'll double click on that and make sure, and sure enough, there it is. Uh, this is what you will go ahead and submit into Canvas for credit. Hope this helps. If you have questions, let me know.